just try to pull that off. Give myself a hernia. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. Today is Monday, February 13th. It's probably about eight o'clock in the morning, I think. Um, I emptied, I just emptied this barrel into the trash can. There's not a whole lot left. Let me show you. So there's not a whole lot left. Uh, this is what I've been feeding a little bit to the bucks here and there. I only feed them maybe once a week, this grain, because they don't really need it. I mainly use it for these mamas over here. Uh, they get fed pretty much every day, just a scoop. That way they're getting some protein every day, uh, but not too much that they're gonna get, you know, their worm load's gonna go up. So today what I'm doing is, I've got two empty barrels now of these feed barrels. I still have about a half a barrel full over with the uh, dolings. And I, I do them the same way as the mamas. I feed them uh, just one scoop every day so they're getting some decent protein. But I need to go fill these back up, two of these. Um, and I think I'm gonna get one of the hog feed for the chickens because I want to start feeding the chickens the hog feed and I'm going to try to find that black sunflower seed that everyone's been talking about. A lot of y'all put it in my comments. I'm going to try to find some of that. I don't know if this place sells it or not, but I'll try to find it for sure and I'll mix that in with this just to give them a little bit different variety and some more protein as well. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to bring you guys along, let you uh, see how I get these two filled up. I'm going to use the little Maverick. Um, it, it does this kind of work really well. It gets decent gas mileage. Um, and this is not going to be too much weight in the back of that little Maverick truck. Okay, so before I go get my feed at uh, up, up in Chickasha, I had to stop in Blanchard to drop Braden's tools off. He left them in my car. So you guys are probably watching that video right now because it was just released. But my cousin also raises Kiko goats, just like me. But his are actually registered, a lot more valuable than mine. So let me show you some of his babies. He's got quite a few babies on the ground right now. What'd you say, 30, Tony? Mm-hmm. He's got 30, and how many more you got to deliver? Six more. Six so. more. Look at this one right here, y'all. This one is awesome. That's, uh, here, let me get better light so you can see it. That's Super, Iceman. He's super friendly. <laughs> yeah, this one is called Iceman, and I don't know if y'all can tell in the video, but he's blue. He's a blue. Really cool coloring. Braden, back up just a little. Get it. There you go. Hey, buddy. He can come say hi. Come here. <laughs> yeah, he's friendly, too. Never been a bottle baby. But he'll rub up against you and let you touch him. He is a good-looking goat. I love him. So, uh, if y'all are familiar with... Where's Golden Honey? Right that. there? Yep. So, if y'all are familiar with Bodark, my cousin bought one of his does. This is Golden Honey, if y'all remember him. Or her, I'm sorry. Which one's her babies? These two? Yep. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> little buck and then the little doling. Yeah, so if you see a red tag, that's a buck. If you see a pink tag, I'm sorry, blue, right? <laughs> yeah, blue is a buck. Blue is a buck, pink is a girl, and then if you see red, that's New Zealand, and white is purebred. Yep. So those are New Zealand do, uh, doling, doling and buckling. One boy, one girl. Where is it at? The baffle spot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see the. So you see that dapple, the little dots. Like right there's a dot. Right there on the back is a dot. It's called dapple. And this guy's friendly. Come here. You ever seen a male with waddles done? No, it's usually it's girls. girls. So that's Jalen Waddles right there. That's he's got name. waddles. And he's a boy. <laughs> Jalen Waddles. Yeah, there's a there's a football player named Jalen Waddles. We named him. Awesome Waddles. <laughs> Jalen Waddles. <laughs> Where's that big one at? The big solid uh, black one. In the he's in pan. here. That yeah, white right, face. Right there. Look how big this guy he's is, y'all. Only three weeks old. Look how thick his legs now, are. Now, he comes from... I sit right on you, buddy. He comes from Rocky Hill Kiko's out of Tennessee. Yeah. From Brian Graves. That's a dough, in, that's a dough that I bought from Brian Graves. Nine and pounds. This white one right here? No. The dough... His mama... His mama is which one? Is... His mama's right here. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. His mama's right here. The buck, his daddy is from Rocky Hill right. Kiko's, and he is a Warsaw great grandson. Gotcha. The mama is actually, everybody knows Megawatt, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So the mama is a daughter of the 
uh, full brother of Megawatt from EAV Kiko's in Oklahoma. Right. And it is a uh, golden, golden hammer. Golden hammer. Yep. So a lot of y'all are familiar with Megawatt, and I have a son of Megawatt, Megatron. Uh, he's just a purebred. But look at all these babies. He's got a lot of good looking babies over here. Now this is just his, this is the registered stock only, right? Mm -hmm. So all these mamas over here are registered either New Zealand or purebreds. And then behind me over here, you can see another pen. That's all right over here. I don't know if y'all can see those goats over there. That's all of his commercial stock. And he's got babies over there as well. Look at this, look at that coloring right there. That's now, a boy. Now, now that's a double blue sun. I like that one there. That's a double blue sun buckwing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a hundred percent. He's he's pretty thick. He's pretty heavy. Yeah, he looks good. I like his coloring. I like this mama right here. Mm -hmm. He bought this one at one of the sales we went to, one of the auctions. Yeah. Right? This mm -hmm. is the one you bought, right? <laughs> that was back in August. She's from Poto Mountain Kiko's. And uh, that was, I bought her a year and a half ago. Yeah. In the, at the April sale. Yeah, okay, April. Okay. Pure cover blow, though. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she recovered really well through her trauma. She, you bought that one there, too, didn't you? Yeah, that's yeah. actually a Rocky Hills Kiko from Tennessee, also. That's the doe, doe that I bought from Brian yeah. Graves. Good looking. Excellent curls. Right there. Yeah, she had a little bit of a traumatic birth this year, but she recovered really well. Yeah. She ended up taking her baby back. Some of them don't do that. Yeah, it was bad. She ended up taking it back. So here's my cousin's uh, bucks. This one just that, turned a year old. That's a dark night. That's dark night. New Zealand, right? Yep. That's TB? Mm hmm. TB 12. And he is just now turned two. Yep. Right. Pretty big dudes. Pretty big dudes. How much do you think he weighs? Probably two twenty. Two twenty. This is probably about one hundred and thirty. One hundred and forty. <laughs> He's like, stay back, dude. Look at him. Man. They're so freaking destructive, man. Yeah, they are. And then here's all the commercials. Now is that Josh's dog? That's jo that's Bodart. That's a Bodart dog right yeah, there. Yeah, so that's uh that's that's actually from the same litter as Yelena, right? That's Nyla. Nyla. Yeah, so that dog yeah, right there is from the same litter as Yelena. Hi Nyla. And that's his commercial uh, he goes over there. So we're gonna get home, unload this here in a little while. Um, it's the it's similar to the, the stuff I was already feeding my goats, a little different, um, but it's got mostly and it's got a lot of corn in this. So the chickens will love this. I am still gonna to try to find the black sunflower seed to put in there. This place didn't have any right now. They typically do carry some. They don't have it right now. Um, so I'm gonna to continue to look for that. I'm sure I can find some at some of these other little small town co-ops. So. I'll meet you guys back at the house. Okay, we are back home with two barrels of feed. So let's hop in here and I wanna show you what this four-way looks like. Okay, so this is the four-way. You can see there's corn in it. I need to get a better description of what it actually, what all it actually is. 
They even have, uh, look at this. I don't know how that got in there. That's one of their like protein cubes. But it does look good. It's good looking stuff. The chickens supposedly love this, so we shall see. All right, I need to go find Brendan because I think I'm gonna have to have him to help me get this off. I gotta remember, we did it two different ways last time and one of them was good and I'm pretty sure the easiest way to do this is to lay the barrel on the side and to just kind of work it off the tailgate. But I'm not 100% sure what was the easiest way last time, but I'm gonna figure it out. was the easier way with two people you can keep it from falling over but you just slide it right off the end of the tailgate what are y'all doing why did y'all fall you guys aren't supposed to fall stay up here for me all right Here comes Brendan, he's on the four-wheeler. <laughs> Come over here and move this for me. I just cut down a lot of uh, limbs and trees that were in the way of Brendan's uh, camping ground. Yeah, camping ground. Gotcha. Move it where? Right where it was. Oh, did you fill these up? Huh? They're full. Where'd you go to fill them up? Went to Dibble this time. Dibble? Yeah. Was that cheaper? Uh, no, it was the same price, I think. Red's a little younger than I am. He can manage this a little easier than me. It's still very heavy. It is very heavy. So each one of these 55 gallon feed barrels can hold roughly 300 pounds. I think it's a little over 300, but they good? charge you for 300 pounds, huh? Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Now, I gotta clean her off. Oh, okay. So the second one is mainly for the chickens. So we're gonna put it, so we're gonna put this second uh, feeder with grain over here in the barn for the chickens. Hey, Tanya's home for lunch. That's cool. So I am not going to feed the ducks this stuff. Um, now these chickens will get this 14 to 15, 16% protein grain mix for that the same, same thing the goats are eating. The chickens will get it. I'll be in there in just a minute. Uh, the chickens will get that. Plus they'll get scraps and scratch. And I'm still trying to find, like I mentioned earlier, I'm still going to try to find the uh, black seed, black sunflower seed. What you doing? Back hurting? Yep. Yep. Did you get your feed? I did. I got some feed. Four way. Four way? Where'd you go? Uh, Dibble. Oh. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, Sai. Facebook. Oh, are you? Hi. <laughs> I didn't know you were. You got dirt on your camera. I know. They fell over. Oh. All How are y'all? All the people watching me fell over a while ago. Oh, they did? Well, good for them. <laughs> Slackers. Mr. Silas. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. He doesn't like to get close to the wire anymore. I won't let it anymore. touch you, I promise. I'm not, I'm not going to let it He's like, you. but if it touches you and you touch it's me, so it, it hurts. It's so okay. Oh, he's a good boy. He's so, good. he's so gentle. Yep, he is. He's a good boy. So I have decided to just use this uh, trash can. Put 
the same grain in it. I want to use this for the uh, chicken feet. I'll just stick it inside of here so we can easily access it for the chickens. Well, hello. Are we putting some in here? What do you got? Play-Doh? Got your balance bike? You having fun? Who's this going to be? The chickens. That's it, Frank. Frank, let's get it over. I can't. I'll help you. Come on, not with that. Can you push this? See how strong you are? Push it. Push it hard. I can't. Make it move. Mm. Do that. There you go. Ooh, strong. Okay, we got this one in. Um, the trash can I put right there if y'all can see that and that's what we'll feed the uh, chickens out of and when it starts getting low I'll just use this one put some in a bucket trans transport three or four buckets over there I want to get it my own feed bucket to put over there but I just don't have time to go get one because it's about a 45 minute drive the opposite direction of where I get all my feed if it was on the way to my feed, I would have picked it up today. Um, but you can find those on Facebook, those feed buckets. You can find them on Facebook. I'm sure you can find them brand new, at like Atwoods or other places, but I'm not sure if they'll be as cheap. All right, so uh, let's go feed the chickens real quick. Uh, see how they like this grain. Let's see what they do. Probably like a half of this should be good for now. Hey girls, I kind of like to throw it like in this area where they have to scratch and dig around for it, which is what they would naturally want to do. I do have the door shut right now because they're having a, I don't know why, but they're having some kind of party in there. So they're wanting to go in there during the day and hang out and it's dark. <laughs> I want them to stay out here, but they're staying in the shade, which I guess is normal go into this rope this wire and the rest are over here in the shade I know they want that new grass is what they want so you'll see the difference in the grass it's green on the other side of the fence grass is always greener on the other side of the fence so it's probably time where they're at used to look green like that over there so I probably need to go ahead and move this fence further out towards the driveway out that area move it further give them some of that green grass plus I filled up their feeder <laughs> so they have plenty of feed right now it's all over the place they're probably full By the way, I did get two eggs this morning. I didn't even put that in the video. I guess I should have. So I got two white eggs. Leggerns are still laying eggs for me. And now they'll probably start laying one egg a day from here on out. Um, I got one egg yesterday. Actually, I got one egg the previous four days. And then today I got two. So in five days, I've collected six eggs out of two chickens, the leggerns. And if I consistently start getting two out of those leggerns, 
I mean, that's a start. That's good. I'd still need to get my uh, all my other chickens to, to, you know, give me an egg as well. So hopefully that'll start within the next week or two. They'll consistently start laying as well. Um, with eight hens, eight laying hens, there's no reason why I can't get four eggs a day, you know. It starts getting dark around six, about 10 after six right now. Um, and, mo and usually when I come out here at, at six o'clock, they're all still outside. They're not even in their coop, so. So I'll usually have to shoo them in because it's starting to get dark and I really don't want to come out here and see some kind of predator in here like an owl. Uh, I'd rather close that door up. Um, tomorrow, if the weather's okay, I'm gonna put that chicken door, automatic chicken door, in that side of the barn so it's always there. Uh, that way it closes and opens. And, and by then I'll probably go ahead and open it right when it gets daylight, maybe even five minutes before and close it about 20 minutes after dark, probably something like that. Brennan's taking Rylan out to the campground that they're building. So everybody I've talked to feeds, not everybody, a lot of the people I talk to, they feed the same grain they feed their goats, they'll feed to their chickens, and they don't have any problems getting eggs, even though it's a 14 to 15, 16% protein. They don't have any problems whatsoever getting eggs. Now they do tell me that they'll add some stuff to it every once in a while, or they'll do their table scraps, um, mealworms, things like that. So I do plan on giving that as well. But, but this is local grown stuff that's from our area. So this should be good. I think this is going to work out really, really well. Um, I'll keep you guys updated with it. I really won't know any kind of benefit of this for a few weeks down the road, especially my, when my other hens start laying. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for coming along, and we'll see you all on the next one. Remember, do the good. Hey